Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. Today we've got an episode of Icon Sniping Reactions. If you enjoyed the video, it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button. Let's see if kind of 500 ratings and do subscribe if you want you. I get asked very regularly, how do I do this method of icon trading? Guys, there is a tutorial on my channel. Make sure to go check it out. It explains in depth exactly how to set up the filter. Additionally as well, a lot of the time people don't stay to the end of the episode, but just so you're aware, at that stage we actually do run through each of the trades that I did get in the video, and I talk about the profits after tax that I made per card. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure to stick around. Other than that though boys, we do have a ton of icon trading to get into today, and of course, as you can see by the title, um, finally get ourselves some decent Prime Icon Snipes. Anyway though lads, let's jump straight into it and hopefully you guys enjoy the content. That's a Prime Icon Snipe right there fellas for 365k, I can't even lie, you know. We've done it. It's happened fellas, it's happened lads. Oh no, oh no. 365,000 coins for a fresh Andrei Shevchenko. Boys, I reckon I can get close to 400k for this item. 395 maybe? If we compare his price. I mean, bro, he's currently around 380k. And that's not even for... That's not even for fresh ones. I reckon I can get close to 400,000 coin for this card, not gonna lie. Obviously, I'm in no rush to sell the item. So I can list it for like... I can list it overnight and hope that it does sell. It's a... 395 or maybe i could be cheeky and try and get like 408 it is fresh yeah i compared i, I checked already um before after comparing this price so i do know that it's a fresh it is a fresh prime icon all right let's do it hopefully get a decent turnaround on this card yeah i i used to um i used to live with tom Definitely going to be a trade that, by the way, guys. 89 rated Fernando Hierro, fresh card as well. It's got to be. For 110,000 coins, that is just crazy value. With it being fresh, I reckon I can get probably 135 at the very least. We'll check that out on Footbin, but this is definitely going to be a good trade. And um, to be honest with you as well, the... EA tax is not going to be too significant considering it's only a low value icon. So it's not going to hit our profit margin too much. That's a good way to kick off the day, lads. We've not been going too long. And I do genuinely think this is going to turn out to be a really nice trade in terms of profit after tax. Oh, lads, already today, he's been selling for 138,000 coins. Oh, crazy. 140k. 143k. I think maybe he's in a dip right now in value. So I, I could probably get maybe closer to like 150. Considering it's fresh as well. Yeah, that's nice, man. Alright, anyway, I'm not in a I'm not in a rush to resell this card, so I'll do 148 with a 145 start price. Do you know what, guys? I might even list that up for one day. Considering um I'm gonna be playing FIFA this time tomorrow. If it's not sold by then, we'll just relist it at like a relative price, whatever the market is. But yeah, really good profit on this trade. Nice way to kick things off. Decent mid-icon snipe. I reckon we do it, fellas. I reckon we do it. Prime icon. We've got a prime icon. I'm hoping that that's actually going to turn out to be a good trade. If it doesn't... I do you know, guys. I think this is risk-free. He is the cheapest Gary Lineker available on the market. Right. Not only that. He's also fresh. So I genuinely think we'll be able to get some decent profits after tax on this trade. I want to check his foot then. I want to see how much Linux has actually been selling for. It's crazy that you can get this card for under 300k. He's not even been out that long and he's actually a decent, he's a decent icon. He really is. If we have a look at sales history, 335, 340. He's ranged between like 300 and 350k over the last 24 hours. With mine being fresh, I genuinely think we're going to be able to get some decent coins this card. This one here is 360. 347. Obviously, all of these have been played with as well. I reckon that's going to turn out to be some nice profit, guys. It's a bit of a gamble, obviously. 
um, because it's it's not a card that's been around for too long. So there's not much history about like the you know how this card fluctuates in value. But I reckon if I list it up for a day, I will be able to get close to three hundred and fifty thousand coins. Obviously, um, the fact that we're able to sell it over is current value is because the fact that it does have a blank record as it's just been pack pulled and they follow like hardly anyone dude so i was like do you know what i'll follow them back just being nice and it turns out that they're all leakers so that was uh might have been a bad idea what was a good idea though by the way is this carlos puyol 200,000 coins we'll take that the main reason that i did snipe this obviously as well and um, the basic chem style was an indication that it's probably a fresh icon and as you can see it is pack pulled so we will take that, hopefully make some decent coins. If I compare price again, this one's only been in the market for like literally five minutes. I reckon I'm going to be able to get 225,000 coins for Carlos Puyol, considering he's fresh. I mean, I'm not in a rush to sell the item, right? So I'll probably just list it overnight. Might even try and get 230k to be fair. Obviously at 200k as well, lads, the 5% tax is going to be 10,000 coins. But if I can sell it for like 230k, then we're going to be making some decent profit regardless of the 5% tax. So we'll take it. Hopefully it'll be a decent flip. If it takes a little while to sell, it's not too bad because it's only 200,000 coins that I've put into this trade. So I'm happy to just flip it over the weekend to be fair and maximise the amount of profit that I can make from this icon. That's a panic buy, I think. Then again, though, I have traded with this Torres in the past and got like 215k for him. So I think that could actually turn out to be a decent trade. It's just not going to be an easy flip. His price, I reckon as well, might have dropped since I previously traded with this icon. Let's have a look. What am I going to be able to get? Do you know what, boys? Actually, right, it's cheapest one on the market right now. Around 200,000 coins. I'll at least be able to get 208, considering I'm not trying to instantly sell this icon the fact that i'm happy to wait a little bit longer to to get the coins back on this trade benefits me it means that i can list the cards up a little bit more than what their current value is and wait for the market to fluctuate in my favor so i'm probably gonna try and get like 208 or 215 something like that and list the icon overnight and hopefully this will actually turn out to be a pretty nice icon flip Lads, I'm looking at the footbin sales history now for base Fernando Torres. Throughout the day, he's been selling in excess of 215k. So I reckon his market value right now is just probably pretty low. I'm actually going to list him for 215, put him up for 24 hours, and I genuinely think this is actually going to turn out to be fantastic profit. Right then, lads, we did whack the Fernando Torres on the market for 215,000 coins. Um, as you just saw, we just paid 185 for him. So if that card does sell, it's 19250 profit after tax, which would be a pretty nice turnaround, not going to lie. Um, as for the other items, though, that I have traded with throughout the week, we started off with Shevchenko, which is the prime icon. He was fresh, and I picked up this card for 365k. As you can see, it did sell for 405. Profit after tax on this was 19750. Um, one thing that you'll see is a recurring theme. Like, I got over the asking value, like the market price, for a lot of these icons and it was because they were all fresh right it's definitely a viable way of trading and um, next one was fernando hierro this is a mid card and i bought him for 110 as you can see it sold for 148 massive profit after tax on this being 30,600 coins so really nice snipe um, and i do believe it was a pretty easy flip as well next then we've got gary lineker again another prime card this one we paid 299k for as you can see it sold for 358 so um honestly a lot over what i was originally expecting to get for this icon and the profit after tax was 41,100 coins so a really really good icon trade my best prime icon flip so far next then was carlos puyol got this card at 200k flat was able to flip this mid icon for 230k meaning the profit after tax on this item was 18,500 coins so honestly some really nice snipes in this video and of course like the marquee reason that i'm uploading this is because um it was the first time that i've been able to 
trade with Prime Icons on Ultimate Team this year. So if you enjoyed the content, make sure to smash the like button. Let's see if we can hit 500 likes, all that good stuff. And hopefully I will see you guys next time.